Hey, it's the Midnight Run, and today you join me for another Bumper Pop Culture Mystery Box for Gaming. This came from HMV. This is the second gamer box that I have got. The first one came from, I believe it was Hamley's, and this is from HMV. They're basically kind of the same. Uh, you get eight items or more for $24.99. So it is more pricier compared to the other HMV box, which I've just unboxed, which is $14.99 for £30 value, and you get five items. This one is eight or more items. It costs $24.99, but it does not tell you what value you're going to get. The question is, do you, though, get $24.99 value, which is what you paid for it, or do you get more than that? It doesn't say how much the value of the box is worth it's just that the items you pay for personally are 24.99 you do get eight in here they do do loads of these you can get star trek harry potter marvel uh, i love the 80s i've even got a horror one before so eight items 24.99 the question is do i get 24.99 a value or do i get more so we are Looking at what's in there, it doesn't look like a huge amount. Um, I'm probably not going to be overwhelmed. Uh, the other box I opened previously for the gaming one did look better, but we will reserve judgment until we've opened it. So, with every box we've ever opened, we start with the smallest item and we do work up. And the smallest item is this. And I do not. This is one item. This counts as an item. It's an eight item box. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an item. This is not an item. This is a big mistake. It is one sticker pack. And you want to tell me this is an item? This not just count as one. If you want to put uh, stickers like these in a box, put three. Put a couple. They did, um, in the gaming box, they put, like, Minions ones. I think it was in the Minions one or something. Oh, I love the 80s. It was three Pac-Man stickers. Don't give me this as an item. This is this is ridiculous. This is Overwatch stickers, um, and it's just one set, and that counts as one item. I paid $24.99 for the box, people. $24.99, and this is what they give me as an item? That sucks. Hopefully, the rest of the box makes up for it. Okay. So we got this. This is the Warhammer Companions, the trading card set. This is the Destruction Pack. We have got a couple of these now. They keep throwing these in these mystery boxes and honestly, kind of over them. I'm already selling these on Vinted. I got a set the other day as well in another mystery box. I'm kind of over them now. Uh, so if you're not into Warhammer the tabletop game, you may be into Warhammer the trading card game. I've got a couple of these packs now. I believe I've got Destruction and Order. Um, they're worth between five and ten pounds. But, mm, kind of over getting the same things in these boxes. They need to mix them up a little. Like, do a monthly release and then change all the items. Next, we have a Call of Duty at Black Ops uh, keychain. Um, and this keychain has uh, a compass on them and something else. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's got a compass. And obviously, you know, if you Call of Duty fans out there, this would probably be kind of cool. And it's got the little shield at the bottom. Um, so you'd probably enjoy this attaching it to your bag if you go hiking. Maybe if you do um, airsoft or something, you might find that interesting. My son found that quite interesting because he does airsoft. <laughs> Next, we have Super Mario Bro socks. So they're not bad. I mean, socks can be expensive, especially when they're branded. You could be looking at a fiver just for these, which is crazy. These are crew socks, and they just have the um, little trees that eat him that he jumps over and that's literally it they're not the most exciting socks and they don't really scream super mario unless you were like a, a 90s child and you'd know uh but socks okay all right moving on up we got a book 
This is the Apex Legends Ultimate Unofficial Guide. How many people play Apex? I've played it a couple of times. Obviously, everybody was more interested in Fortnite than Apex. So, I mean, unless you're really into Apex, this would mean absolutely nothing to you. So, things like this, which are a bit more specific, I don't know why they put them in mystery boxes, because if you play Fortnite and not Apex, it's kind of a mute thing, but I can sell it, I can sell it. Okay, next, moving on up, we have another one of these. If you saw the previous gaming box I got, this is the Light Seekers Awakening Molten Blade. So this is a fire blade. Um, and you use your iPads to play. And there are different ones to get down there. I've actually got this purple one here um, in a previous box. So this is the Mountain Order Weapon and the Augmented Reality Trading Card Game. Um, Apparently you can collect all of these. I'm going to assume that these are going to start appearing in lots of these boxes. So you can like collect them all. The thing is how many different ones are they actually putting in each box. This is actually worth about a tenner. I have looked this up previously in the the last gaming box I did. So they are worth about a tenner. Two things left. So we've got a figure and we've got a mug. So let's do the figure first. And we have... The Lara Croft 20 Years of an Icon Tomb Raider figure. So that's kind of cool. 20 years, uh, Lara Croft has been a force within the gaming industry, mostly because everybody liked her boobs. Uh, during the celebration with this exclusive mini figure featuring Lara with her nostalgic dual pistol. This is from Square Enix. Or Cynix, sorry. Uh, brought to you by Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. In partnership with Loot Crate. So this is a Loot Crate item. HMV bought quite a lot of Loot Crate items when Loot Crate went out of business. So you do find some of the Loot Crate stuff appears in HMV boxes sometimes. But there she is, double pistoled. This is probably worth five, maybe ten. So, and then the last item we have, oh, this mug is heavy. This is a Street Fighter, and I think it's Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki. Um, I'm sorry if I crucify that name. Tatsumaki. So you've got him on the front, and then on the back you've got the Street Fighter uh, name. Um, it's a very heavy mug. Now, Street Fighter, I'm not so sure. I'm going to guess the mug's probably worth a tenner um, because of it being Street Fighter. Do you ever remember playing Street Fighter? I used to love playing it. I used to play the women all the time, like kick the men's ass. So the Street Fighter mug, five, maybe ten. I know this is worth anywhere between eight and ten. Um, the book um, is actually worth seven ninety nine officially. Um, the socks, probably a fiver. I'm gonna say a fiver for socks. Um, the model is worth between 5 and 10 again. Uh, the cards, these are anywhere between about 5 and 8, depending on where you look. Keychain, but you could probably get it for 3 or 4 pounds if you look hard enough. And then the stickers, they're about 90 pence, depending on where you go. So, the question is, did I get my 25 pound value that I bought it for? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is meant to be number eight. Now I think that's a rip off. This shouldn't have been in there, and they should have given me either three of these or a different item because that's just disgusting. But what do you think? Did I make? Let's put it down a bit. Did I make twenty-five pound value? So you got like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, probably made 25 pounds. Um, am I overly happy? The box is fine, but this as an item is disgusting. If you're going to say it's an eight item box, it's an eight item box. This does not count as an item. If you're going to put one of these in, put three in. Make it worth having them. Like the Pac Man one did for the gaming box, they put three in. Put more than one in. If not, you're just ripping people off. Like, come on. Come on, HMB. Get it together. 
Aside from that, favourite item of the box, probably the light seekers, if anything. Uh, or maybe the socks. I'm, I'm not really one for Warhammer. I'm not into Lara Croft, the Apex. No. So let me know down below. Did I get £25 worth of value? Do you think those stickers being an item is totally ridiculous? Because I do. Um, do I plan on getting it anymore? Possibly. I won't be getting any more gamer boxes for the minute because then there's a chance of just getting the same items. I bought an I Love 80 box. They do Star Trek. They do Wizardry. I'm considering maybe getting a here. I think it's a Heroes one or a Marvel one they do. Maybe I'll get some Iron Man, Black Panther, Black Widow in there. Maybe some Spider-Man stuff. Let me know what you think I should do. Let me know if these boxes are worth $24.99. This one, I think I got ripped off with the sticker. If you saw the previous gaming box, I think I did fine. Um, if you're looking for a bit of a mystery for Christmas or something, or for a birthday, and you want to surprise someone with a mystery box, remember, you do not know what you're getting in it. It could be any franchise from any decade, especially with gaming. You could go back 30-odd years. You could go from Pac-Man to Call of Duty, modern-day Call of Duty, so... Also check out the I Love 80s box that we got where we had E.T. in that in it. If you love the 80s as much as I do, I was actually born in the 80s. And uh, we got six items in that box. But I think we did get the value with that. And you'll have to go check that out. So let me know. Give it a big thumbs up as well. It's free. If you want to help the channel and help me buy more of these, a PayPal, Super Chat, Super Thanks. Become a member. Get extra videos every week. Do not forget as well my podcast, It's Not All Doom and Gloom, where I upload as many times as I can, sometimes weekly on the podcast. Um, and I will see you soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.